So now that we've selected the holes and we've told them how far to drill, you can see um, all of these different holes that it's chosen. And it actually has given us a pretty nice order in which to drill them. And so I mean, it might be nice to you know, see it in action, and there's a virtual way to see that. And the way we can do is we can go up to this operation manager, and we can go to this button here that says Ver Verify Selected Operations. And if you click the Verify Selected Operations, it brings up here. And what it's showing is our stock, our two-inch thick stock. Notice it's solid. Um, you can't really make a hollow stock, and so we have a solid piece of stock. What you can do is just hit the machine button here, and it plays basically how it's going to mill it out. And so there you go. That's what it's going to look like when it drills. You can zoom in on the stock, and it will show you how it's going to cut. One thing that I um, is an issue is, since we're really not dealing with a solid piece of material, the stock being two inches thick, isn't really that useful. And so in fact, what I typically like to do on my stock setup, instead of making it two inches thick, I like to make it just the thickness of the piece of material. And so this is what one eighth inch wall. So I often like to switch that from two inches just to 0.125. All that does is when I go to back to verify, it makes a nice thin stock. And then when I go to play, actually show the drill bit going in and you can see that if we do maybe a top view here um, that the holes are actually going all the way through and so that can be useful when um, verifying the operation and so that looks good the only thing that maybe I, I don't like about the holes is that it starts at this side and it ends over here. It might be nice to save a little machining time since we're, the bit will actually come to, to this location is maybe start here and then go out here. That's not a big deal, but I wanna show you how you can change um, the order of the points. And so if you go here to the geometry, this shows us all of the eight points that we chose. In fact, maybe you chose a wrong point. And so what you can do is you can click and then right click and you can delete a point. Or if you just right click somewhere else, you can go, well, I wanna add more points. But there's another um, bunch of other things that you can do. And one is to um, sort the points. And so I can go to sort options and it gives me different ways of how I would want to sort them. I kinda of wanna go up, down, and then jump over to the right a little bit more. So I wanna get the, just the way the points are set up, I wanna get the, the ones close in the y direction and then move jog a little bit over in the x direction and get the rest so i could do something like this or something like this okay so i'm going to select this one and then once i do that i hit check and then um we should be okay okay and I hit check here and notice it gives me a little x here through my tool path what that means is that it's a dirty operation. It's an operation that hasn't been regenerated. And so what I'm going to do here is this is just regenerate all selected operations. To know if an operation selected, we have this little check mark. Right now we're dealing with just one operation, our drill operation. Um, soon we'll have other operations below it, but if you want to see what it's going to do, you need to make sure that the operation isn't dirty. And so we have to regenerate it. Notice that X goes away. And now we can go to verify that operation. We can look at how it's being drilled. Notice it starts at the left and does exactly what we asked it to.